It's all about promoting tolerance and understanding. A group at the College of New Caledonia took part in a unique project today called A Living Library. Fourteen people came together to share their unique histories and stories. From afar, it looks like speed dating. It's based on that basic principle, but it's called a living library. Put on by the Immigrant and Multicultural Services Society, 14 individuals are so-called books. They have a story to tell. Individuals have 15 minutes to hear it. Organizer Romana Pasca says there is a goal with the event. A better community, a more understanding type of community, realizing that diversity is around us and diversity needs to be reminded anytime and it's not about just the color or the race or the traditions it's about age it's about um, you know gender sexuality it's about everything and the stories are very diverse messages from a Kenyan woman who came to this country in the dead of winter five years ago if you see me I want you to think of me as a blank page like you're opening a book for the first time and then as you open the book then you get to know who I am and what I believe in and what I stand for as opposed to seeing me and having that, all that stereotype and be like, oh, she's black and she has, you have all these preconceived notions of what a black person is and what they represent, but that's not really true. Everybody is different. To a once homeless, drug-addicted man who is now a PhD. They have a certain archetype in their mind that they see, a certain ideal homeless person, and it's based on what they've seen and what they've experienced. So when they see somebody who's teaching and doing work and writing about it, seems relatively well put together, it's really hard for them to actually believe, and I don't mean imagine. I mean, they, they, they have a hard time believing that I was as bad as, as I was. I sometimes have that same problem. The idea of a living library was first introduced in Denmark and is more popular in larger communities like Toronto and Montreal. CNC is the smallest post-secondary institution to try it and has tweaked it a bit to specifically reflect a diversity of the individual. To me, this type of, uh, of interaction, it's about human touch and it's about sharing emotions and feelings and, and it's very motivational. It's, it's something that you know you can learn as a reader and also as a book you can find out how other people live the same kind the same experiences. She says the hope is to host similar living libraries and other venues around the community like the public library. Cheryl Jan, CKPG News.